For the last several years, we have seen flop after flop from Disney when it comes to animation, whether it's something like Lightyear, whether it's something like Wish, whether it's something like Elemental, which despite them trying to gaslight everyone into thinking that it made money, in fact, it also lost money for them. Over and over and over again, we've seen these failures. And one thing that critics have continued to repeat is that Disney, when you're making family-friendly content, If you continue to push identity politics, people are not going to go out and support this. Just go back to making entertainment for families and people will flock to the box office. And what was Disney's excuse? Not that what they made was shit. Not that they were pushing the woke agenda anywhere and everywhere. Instead, what Disney claimed was, well, families, you know, they just don't want to go to theaters anymore. They just like to watch things on streaming. That was their excuse. Well, they don't really have that excuse now. But it's for a good reason, at least for Disney. Inside Out 2, Out of This World. Sequel crosses $1 billion at the global box office. Fastest fastest animated movie ever to reach the milestone. It is massive. A billion dollars after the third weekend. As we sit right now, we'll get the official weekend numbers some point on Monday afternoon. But right now, it's worldwide box office sitting at just over a billion the fastest animated movie to ever get here in history effectively we're we're looking at a movie that is at least going to hit probably 1.3 1.4 1.5 billion when it's all said and done and even though people aren't saying it's maybe the best movie pixar's ever made people are saying it's back to normal for pixar there's that is not full of identity politics that it's something that you can bring your family to for everyone to enjoy how crazy is it That as soon as Disney gives people that, as soon as Disney gives parents something, a brand that they recognize inside out too, and no no mention of identity politics or woke bullshit, that they have a smash hit on their hands. Now, they can make all the excuses they want about what happened with these other things. What happened with Lightyear? What happened with some of these other flops? The truth is... Families were rejecting those movies because of what we said the entire time. It wasn't that, well, people just don't want to go to the theater anymore. Families aren't taking people to the theater. Yeah, they fucking are. We've seen Mario have massive success. We saw, uh, what was it, Minions 3 have massive success or whatever number Minions movie that was that released a few years ago. Despicable Me 4 likely going to have success when it releases a month or so from now. But undeniably, This is a massive, massive success, a massive win for Disney. Unfortunately for them, it's kind of being overshadowed in a few ways by other things going on. The acolyte failure, all of these leaked, uh, these leaked calls, the undercover reports from James O'Keefe, the meetings that they have with these Disney executives where they admit to racist hiring practices. You have all of these other negative stories happening when Disney finally got a win for animation that they desperately needed. Now, um, you have to give credit where credit's due. Do I think this was an adjustment? Do I think that, well, now everything's going to be back to normal? Not necessarily. I think this has been in the works for a while and being planned for a while. It's going to take a couple movies in a row to show that Pixar is done with the agenda, that Pixar is done with pushing those things in children's movies. But for right now, Disney has to feel good and they can now admit that they were lying before about families not going to see their movies in theaters because they're so desperately waiting to see them on Disney+.